Okay, first off, did you hear the joke about the two? <laughs> so, not sure if some of y'all heard um, the story about the scallop and the clam. They actually ended up getting married, and it surprised everybody, but after six months, they ended up getting divorced. Guess the reason. They were shellfish. What a jerk, Jesse. You <laughs> completely ruined the intro to the video. You knowing the joke sounds a little fishy, though. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get on to today's video. <laughs> what up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie recipe, we have got something from my brand new book, The Fit Man Cookbook. We're gonna be making up Idio. Now, if you are not familiar with Idio, it is an East African dish. The one in the cookbook is inspired by a Kenyan dish, but it's very popular throughout East Africa and it's known by many different names. Basically, it is a really hearty dish of potatoes, peas, and corn. It's a very hearty recipe. It's a very delicious recipe, but what excites me most about it is its simplicity. There's not a whole lot of seasoning that goes into the dish. It's actually just flavored by its own ingredient. And we are also going to pair that with some delicious giant bay scallops. Mm -mm. Yes, this is a really easy recipe today. I know you're gonna love it. All right guys, if you're ready to roll up your sleeve and get those hands dirty, then let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to prep the irio by cooking up our potatoes. So I'm gonna get some creamy red potatoes and add these to some boiling water. Boil these until they're soft, about 20, 25 minutes. All right, so while the potatoes are cooking, we are going to, I'm gonna just saute a little bit of some onion and some fresh garlic. We're gonna saute this down. So Idio doesn't have a lot of seasonings. In fact, the one that I'm making doesn't have any seasonings except for sea salt and pepper. So the majority of the flavor comes from the ingredients themselves. And that's actually the beauty of this dish as well, that it can be really satisfying, very, very nourishing, but also is that it flavors itself with its own natural flavor. So I'm gonna take the onions and set them aside. Okay, so with the idio prep, now it's time to work on our main, but it is a main dish by itself for all my plant-based warriors out there. I was watching one of my favorite shows, Jamie Oliver's Five Ingredients Show, and he was making something that looked a lot like idio, but he paired it with some giant base scallops. And I was thinking, oh my God, that looks, looks so good, and what a great combination, not only in flavor, but just the textures, and so I thought, Let's do the same thing. So today I spurs a little bit at the grocery store and I bought me some giant bay scallops to enjoy with the idio. And for all the plant-based warriors out there, you can use some marinated tempeh. Be sure that if you're gonna use tempeh, it needs to be marinated. Otherwise, it's gonna be, it's gonna come out to be a really dry consistency. We want lots of flavor here. So to prep our scallops, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to score them on top. Basically, I just take them and we're gonna make a really small checkerboard right here on top. We're gonna add some sea salt and some pepper. Fire up the same skillet that we used to cook up the onion and the garlic, and we're gonna give this a light spray. Place some face down here in the skillet. Make sure there's adequate space, and don't rush your cooking. If the skillet gets too crowded, then just cook up some, and then cook up some more later on. Don't try to push everything in there. All right, guys, so now we are going to mash up our freshly boiled potatoes. This is different from like a mashed potato where you may be tempted to use the hand mixer and do it. I find this one is much better rough, so do a really nice rough mash. And now we're gonna add in a few peas. Now these are thawed peas, they were previously frozen, and we're gonna just add in just a few of the peas, and we're gonna mash these up too. Now we're gonna add in the sauteed onions and garlic, look at that, and then the rest of our peas, and then some corn, and then some sea salt, and some pepper. Technically, we are finished, right? We're gonna mix this together, but you know how we do. You know we like to just add just a little bit of something extra. So I love to add in some dried chives. And I tell you what, it reminds me of sour cream and onion potato chips. And with this dish, it pairs really well with the sweetness from the peas and the corn. 
I love this dish, this is one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of vegan butter. Some people like to cook up the onions and garlic using some butter. I like to add this in at the very end just in case I'm feeling the need to boost the flavors just a tad bit. Add a nice heaping serving of our idio. Topped off with our beautiful giant scallops. This right here. This right here. <laughs> Every time people actually make it, they're always left saying like, wow, I should have tried this sooner. Because it's one of those dishes that simplicity is key. Probably got less than seven ingredients and you can mix and match different spices if you wanted to. But I just think that you should just maintain the integrity of the dish and just allow the flavors of the ingredients to speak for themselves. This will teach you a lot about how to pair foods together. And then after you make it the first time or after you taste it, then think about what you could add to it in order to enhance the flavors. That's what this journey is all about, about learning along the way and taking inspiration from other cuisines and other cultures. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you like stuff like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell. Ring my bell. Remember the jam back in the day? Ring my bell, ring my bell, ring, 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 dang, I'm so old. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, that's right, never, ever boring. Ooh! Oh, and shout out to my boy Thomas, who I met on the book tour in Atlanta. He gave me an entire bag full of nice swag, and one of them was this awesome t-shirt. This says, be humble or be humble. And I don't know about you, but I am definitely not trying to be the latter. So thank you, Thomas, for the inspiration and for the nice swag. All right, guys. Peace.